previously on Insanity 54 Vlogs. I've been wondering what this building is going to be. What do you think? And now, the conclusion. Hey look, it's a Starbucks. They just opened. <laughs> I have some good news. Some good news. Uh, I sold a bunch of stuff. I worked really hard during September. It's September 26th, by the way. Hello. Welcome. Good to see you. And um, it's been a, a while. Hot minute. Um, I worked really hard and made money. I sold my laptop, which is, was kind of sad, but uh, bittersweet because, I mean, I got some good hun hundred dollar bills, some good Benjis from that. Uh, so, uh, um, I uh, already spent the money. No, I didn't spend all the money. Oops, I bumped the cable. Uh, I spent some money, had a little bit of an impulse purchase, but this is for a bucket list item, and I've been thinking about it for years, and I'm finally getting the hardware to do it. Check this beast out. Look at this thing. Uh, this is my cybernetic VR headset. or uh, ther Thermal camera. No, it's not thermal. <laughs> <laughs> look at it's it's crazy i love how this feels in the hand so this is a a super duper cool um phone holder it's a phone grip a, uh what do they call it a, a rig a phone rig a smartphone rig uh just to prove it yeah see this is a smartphone and it's being held by this super good clamping force and it adapts to a Canon EF lens. This is not a lens. This is a DOF adapter, which if you want to look up, uh, up a DOF adapter, I think it means depth of field. Um, there's some good videos about this. And <laughs> I have a, a lens on the way. It's a 500 millimeter telephoto lens. It's like the cheapest one I could find. It's not going to be very good quality. It might have a ton of wobbles i don't know how am i even going to mount it because it's like this it's going to add like this much length to it uh, this much length what if i what if i just stay in this orientation <laughs> it's going to add a lot of length to this anyway i got a tripod coming too and this is going to go on a tripod and then i'm, I'm going to bring my 4g modem up there it's got a battery in it and i've got a bunch of battery banks and the plan is to do three sessions of a hilltop telephoto live stream where chat chooses what we look at. So I'm going to point the camera in different areas and we're going to people watch together. Does that sound fun? It's something I've been thinking about for a long time. I, I, I always had the thought I want to automate this and have like the camera on this pan tilt mount and chat actually controls it using commands. But that's a lot harder. So this is like a, a, a step zero, level zero. And then we could do a level one later if if level zero and level one work out. Anyway, I feel very animated right now. And it probably has something to do with the fact that I ate an entire uh, cantaloupe by myself. Oh, yeah. I forgot this orientation. So it seems like we're vertical. <laughs> <laughs> I started a mind test server. And you're welcome to join it. The information is at extremetoaster.com, which you might recognize. Uh, it's a web. It was my very first domain name, and <coughs> it's been kind of dormant. There's been nothing on it for years and years. But now there's a mind test server, not to be confused with Minecraft. It's kind of a similar game, but it has a lot of its own unique features, uh, its own mods its own lore even like uh the macy Misi crystal <laughs> i don't even know how to pronounce it m-e-s-e -E. it's very found very deep in earth and actually this game has no bedrock i thought there was bedrock so i was on a mission to dig my way to build a staircase all the way down to bedrock there is no bedrock i think it might be unlimited because of my friend Knack and I went into admin mode and flew downwards as much as far as we could for like a half hour and we were only at negative 5,000 or neg negative 6,000 uh, meters and we the end was not, not in sight so I'm kind of thinking it's like Minecraft how horizontally there is no limit by default I'm thinking it's the same way vertically in mine test which is 
mind blowing. <laughs> and there's all these different mobs. The further down we went, and there's like dwarves down there and goblins. They're all mods, by the way, modifications. There's a thriving mod community in Mind Test. Uh, great content DB website where people can pu publish their mods and download them. I built this Ansible playbook. I spent two days on this Ansible playbook to spin up the whole server and in and, and install mods. So if ever there's a problem, I can just run that playbook again from scratch and we have a new server. But uh, uh <laughs> like I, I'm learning a lot about Ansible, just using it a lot. And I'm learning its quirks like the YAML markdown language is kind of a pain in the ass, but it's also um, it's also flexible. I'll say that. I'll say that. And like he could just use a Jinja template. Jinja is like this templating engine. Uh, never mind. I won't. I won't get into that. But <laughs> um, yeah, I'm, I have a lot of plans for the server. Um, I just like playing on it. The, um, I found out there's this armor. It's emerald armor, which was part of a mod that adds different gemstones. Emerald armor lets me jump up to five meters. You, normally, I can jump one meter high. That's like the default. But emerald armor, I can jump five meters high, and I'm like three times as fast. It's like sprinting, double sprinting. It's just it's so fun to bounce around and like jump over lava. <laughs> And I actually started building my house to accommodate my jumping height. And then when I died and lost my armor, I'm like, oh, I can't get around my house. I can't go up the stairs. Um, but I, I'm having lots of fun with it. There's crafting and farming and there's lots of bugs. I mean, it's an, it's an open source project. Nobody's getting, well, there's donations on content DB, but most people aren't getting paid for the work they do. And it's just like this, this passion project f that a lot of people engage in and it's pretty cool um yeah i'm thinking of uh adding more mods and learning more about server administration i just want to build a good server and uh, i think part of that is playing on it and seeing what the player experience is like and then i can improve any shortcomings in that player experience really fun game uh, you're welcome to join extremetoaster.com for more information oh we have a, a matrix channel too and i've got uh, a bridge between mind test and matrix so if you're in the matrix channel and typing and there you can also see it in minecraft and vice versa it's pretty cool um yeah i think that's all i have to say about that and i think that's all i gotta say in the video this is a good video right <laughs> this, oh we've been at 45 degree angle uh, maybe that's like the title oh no, let's hide hide the mess over there. That's kind of why I left it like this. Anyway, that's it for this video. Doing good this month, by the way. Thank you for uh, reaching out and saying hi and stuff. And and uh, well wish. Thank you for the well wishes. All right, see ya.